morning everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. I am in a different location. Um, well, I'm still in my house but I'm working in the living room today because my dad's gone to Wales for like a job thing. Um, so I thought I would take advantage and work in here because he works from home and normally works in here. So I'm sat on the sofa with um, my mum's. She bought this new throw and it's really really cosy. I'm not sure I'm actually meant to use it or if it's just for display, but since it's quite cold in the house today, I thought I would take the mo make the most of it and um, stay all cosy. And I've also put the lights on the Christmas tree, so they are looking very beautiful. Um, I just find it so nice and relaxing having the Christmas tree around this time of year. So what I'm doing now is editing yesterday's vlog um, right here. So that's in process. Um, oh, last night I forgot to say I used the new Gaia Spa products and they're actually really nice. Um, I need to work out if I'm saying that right, but they're really nice. Um, and it smelled like um, the Liz Earl Energizing Body Wash, that kind of scent, eucalyptusy, pepperminty, really refreshing. So I used that last night and then I slept really well after that. Um, and then I woke up quite early this morning, did a quick um, body coach hit workout was in the mood for one. Um, had breakfast and then I'm going to smudge my, my makeup. Finished watching yesterday's Vlogmas videos. Um, we need to get a bigger memory card because mine keeps cutting out. I'm just trying to arrange my phone interview with my new job. Well, not interview, like just chat about my objectives, object, uh, objectives for my new job. Um, so that's being sorted out now. Um, tomorrow I'm actually working on the fragrance counter for Dior. Um, I can't remember if I mentioned that already. Probably yesterday it was a bit of a rush. Um, so yeah, I was just spraying. Going to be spraying fragrance of people basically. Um, so I'm going to have a quick look at all their fragrances today and see which ones I think I would like. Um, I know a few of them already but just to brush up on them a bit. And yeah, so I'm going to edit this video and then I'm actually going to sort out my wardrobe today because I keep saying I'm going to do it and I've, in the last two vlogs and I haven't done it yet. So um, that's happening for sure today. I'm not taking any work because I'm working Thursday, Friday and Sunday. I'm going to get on editing this video and also need to work out what video to do on Sunday. So if you have any requests, let me know um, what you'd like to see. Um, I'm thinking of doing like a Christmas day makeup look or a kind of like present wrapping thing um, as I need to wrap my presents anyway I thought I would do like a maybe guide for how to wrap presents if you're really bad at wrapping presents because I'm just so bad and I get really impatient but this year I've bought a few like things that I think might make it a bit easier so um, I might do a like come wrap my Christmas presents with me type video um, we'll see but I'm going to get on editing this video now um, my lipstick advent today is Rimmel's Rock and Roll Nude Lipstick, which is a Kate Moss lipstick. Um, I quite like it, I think it goes quite well with the top I'm wearing. This is just my misguided top, um, which was in my style haul, um, which I will link down below if you haven't seen it already. I think that's like my favourite video to film, style videos and talking about all my latest fashion bits. Um, so yeah, you guys seem to like it and I enjoy filming it so that's always good. So yes, I will edit this video and then I will update you on my wardrobe clearing out situation. So I've finished editing my video and now I'm just making a matcha latte. I've made it a bit different this time, I added some vanilla extract um, to make it a bit sweeter and a bit more Christmassy. Um, I never really take much time making it so I thought this time I would do something a bit different. I've got a couple of my small gingerbread um, Christmas trees to dip in it because it's 11 o'clock and I'm quite hungry because I had breakfast quite early. And now I'm going to get started on my wardrobe. Um, I'm going to sort out all the clothes, all the shoes, throw away any, well not throw away, give away to charity any bits I don't want anymore. Waking up, feeling the taste of our fight last night.
finished tidying my room, so I thought I'd show you my final result. It didn't take too long, because it wasn't too bad in the first place, but I've organised everything according to colour pattern-ish. So I've got the darker colours this side, and then the lighter colours this side. And in that Marie, I think it's Marie Kondo book, which is up here, called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, she says to put the heavier items on the left. Um, apparently it frees the energy up or something, so that's what I've been doing. But as you can see, it's dipped a bit here because all my clothes are quite heavy. Um, okay, the door just went, but as I was saying, um, I'm going to change setting. The door just went, but as I was saying, um, this book, zoom out, it's really good and it explains how you shouldn't keep things that don't make you happy and basically encourages you to be more mindful when you're tidying and keep everything organised. So generally I'm quite a tidy person anyway, but I still found it an interesting read. So I'll link that down below if you're interested in reading that yourself. Um, so yeah, I tidied my wardrobe, so all the lighter colours this side. As you can see, a lot of like I like a lot of um, neutral tones with occasional brighter colour here. Um, so yeah, this never gets too messy, but every now and again I like to just kind of neaten it up because I think the longer items can get a bit um, scruffy on the hanger and then crease a lot easier. And then... The least pretty Pinterest worthy part of my wardrobe is my shoes. Um, I do have like a, I've just got so many at the moment, like boots which take up so much room compared to like summer shoes which are flatter obviously. Um, I do put all my like spring summer clothes in the loft so I get them out every year, every season to um, change my wardrobe up because I wouldn't be able to fit everything in this wardrobe because it's quite small as you can see. Um, so yeah, I've got my trainers this side. I do have two pairs and then my new pair, which um, I put in my style haul vi video. But I don't know whether to throw the pink ones away or not. But they're quite good quality and they're Nike, so I don't think I should. Um, they might always come in handy for something. Um, my new boots, navy boots here. My new look grey ones. Two pairs of long boots, which are quite hard to store because I know I should have like the cardboard in them to keep them keep the shape but um I don't have any so they kind of just fold like that at the moment and I put a hair clip on them to keep them together which you might have seen or might have caught in the um process and then some more boots back here so just basically a lot of boots and a few pairs of heels right at the back because I don't really get to wear heels that much um like proper heels so that's that bit um a few books here but nothing worth mentioning and some hats here we've got my trousers, well my jeans here, so I've got a burgundy pair of Joni jeans, top shot ones, which I do wear sometimes, but um, they are really high waisted so sometimes I find they dig in more when I sit down. Um, a black pair of, I think these are new look jeans, um, which are still some of my favourite jeans that I own. Another pair of ASOS blue jeans, um, which I got recently, some top shop grey ripped ones which I don't really wear this time of year because it's too cold and then back here we've got skirts all folded up um, just some a few black ones for like work and stuff my new look tweed one my favourite Zara faux um, leather one in suede which is like a dark brown but you can't really see that here um, and then trou like smarter trousers that aren't jeans I've got some culottes I think they're called and the ones that flare out um, and they're kind of cropped um, some top shot ones which I don't really wear much, um, but I should, so I'm keeping them. Um, River Island trousers, grey trousers, um, and some navy ones, so they always come in handy for work things. Um, I don't actually have that much dresses when I was looking at things. I've got a few, but um, I could do with some more because I like to wear dresses and tights, but um, yeah, I'm not very inspired by my selection at the moment. Briefly tidied my like hair section um, my products here shine sprays sign creams um, dry shampoo essentials and then my beauty stuff which I'm trying to um, keep more low maintenance but it's not quite working um, and then we have my workout exercise stuff so I've got workout bras um, leggings hoodies which are like my got a couple university hoodies and some sweatshirts back there but I'm on the hunt for some really comfy jogging bottoms that um, 
I can wear this around the house. Which brings me on to the stuff that I'm giving away. Um, so I've got a few things here, nothing crazy. Um, I'm going to ask my mum and sister if they want any of them. But I've got some Topshop um, jogging bottoms here, grey ones. I might still keep them, but um, I'm going to look in Oxford tomorrow and see if I can find any cheap soft ones that um, are a bit more comfy. Because I don't really like the elastic on this, I find it really annoying. Um, and I've looked and tried to look inside it to see if I could cut it out, but I can't, so... Um, I'm not sure whether I'm keeping those. They are really comfy, but um, I just don't really like them on me. And then we've got a new look top, which I can't even remember buying. <laughs> I don't even know if I bought it or if it's my mum's. Um, which I never wear, so I'm just going to give that away, because... The last two times I've cleared out my wardrobe, I've thought about doing that and not, and then still not worn it. Um, an ASOS leopard print vest, which again doesn't really look like something I would buy, <laughs> so but obviously I did. Um, maybe it was in my days when I actually went out um, clubbing and stuff, but yeah, I'm gonna give that away. A khaki top um, from New Look, which I think my mum will probably want because she suits this colour more than me. Um, I've had this for quite a while, I've worn it a couple of times, but again, don't really wear it much at all, and I like khaki, but I just don't think it suits me, so that's going to go. A pair of really new jeans, which I um, actually featured in my first haul video, um, my new look one, but again, the fit isn't great on me, um, I just don't like jeans on me in general, but these ones are quite short. So they do come up quite high on the leg, and I think that makes my legs look really stumpy, so I'm going to say goodbye to those two. They weren't very expensive, so I don't feel too bad. Um, I've got my ASOS ones, so yeah. And then a pair of shoes, which again, I'm not sure what was going through my mind when I bought these. I got them quite recently. Um, I do like them, but I just think they look a bit like slippers, and I find them a bit... I don't know, I just, they don't do really do anything for me. Um, so yeah, and since I'm getting my trainers, my grey trainers, I'm going to wear them probably as like my casual um, going out shoe. And then some more Primark jogging bottoms, which I just tend to buy because I think they're cheap and they feel soft, but then I try them on when I get home, I don't actually like them. Um, and this colour is probably the least flattering colour that is. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm going to give those away too and resist the urge to buy any more from Primark because... I could probably buy a really nice pair of jogging bottoms, the amount I spend on just Primark stuff. All our Christmas presents are on top of my wardrobe at the moment. So, um, yes, looking a bit of a mess. It's a good thing I don't believe in Santa anymore because that would be spoiled. My sister Hannah, who doesn't want to be in it just yet, <laughs> just got an order from Amazon, so I thought I'd uh, show me what she got. Um, Christmas books, I think. Yeah, they're all for Christmas. I got two fiction ones, so mm -hmm. stolen. Mm -hmm. by Lucy Christopher. Is it like, um, what's the genre? Um, I think it's Quite. young adult. Okay. It's kind of, basically it's about a girl that's kidnapped. Mm. Um, cool um, centre. <laughs> <laughs> and then got small great things. See, so she's meant to be good. I don't think I've read... She's the one that does um, My Sister's Keeper. I actually that? don't know. I think it's, supposed, it's called the... 21st century to kill a mockingbird apparently okay so yeah it's, i think it's got like like the cover yeah no it's bigger than i thought it'd be as well so i'm looking forward to that how big is the font <laughs> oh yeah true <laughs> no it's not too bad nice. but yeah i think it covers issues such as racism so hmm. good for my do you ever read um mallory blackman books they, uh, yeah i love those good. ones yeah i miss them i do want to reread those and these two are like more non-fiction so i've got the 52 list project mm -hmm. so that's a year of weekly journaling inspiration oh. So I'm looking forward to that. I think one. I like that. What's what kind of things they? Oh, um, is it an actual journal? Uh, kind of. It's basically like you get a list each week. So say like, list your favourite places you've been. Hmm. Focus. Oh. oh, that's cool. And then it kind of gives you an idea to take action. So mm. I know I love lists. So I thought. That'd be yeah. Good. And then I don't have to Ooh, say this. Hyga. Yeah. <laughs> is it, I think it's Hugo. I thought it was like Hyga. I want to read but, that. <laughs> yeah. So. And I've already kind of it's had about, a like, in it. comfort, isn't it? And yeah, which, treating yourself. Yeah, and I kind of love trying to. <laughs> so. Yeah, so. Let's go rest these. Mold wine. Yeah, so. I can't wait to drink. Promoting drinking. <laughs> yeah. Like the cover. Match the nails, too. The art of creating intimacy. 
Queen yes, of the Thorn. <laughs> hmm. I've heard such good Definitely read well, that one. So yeah. so yeah, that's the full book. Nice. So I'm sat on what is called a love seat. <laughs> was actually advertised as that. But I've just made lunch and I thought I'd show you what I've got. It is like a beetroot and feta, mishmash of salad, um, with some tomatoes, lettuce, a couple of crackers, and some olive oil and lemon juice. Um, nothing very fancy, but I really love roasted squash. It's so good, especially with chilli flakes. Mm. And then I've got a book here, which I'm going to try and read um, some of, and my slippers. But yeah, I'm going to tuck into this, and then me and my sister are going to the milk shed, which is my favourite like cafe near my house. Um, we have to get in the car, but it's not too far. I've written a blog post on it before, which I will link down below. But yeah, we're going to go there and get a cup of tea and have a catch up. But yeah, that's this afternoon's plan. And then I might try and go, on for, go for a run later. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. But um, kind of like running in the dark because no one can really see you, <laughs> as creepy as that sounds. Um, I like kind of the mysteriousness of it. But um, yeah, and I've got 60 subscribers now on my channel here. So um, thank you to all of you who subscribed. I know it's not like very much by any means, but um, to me it's still quite a lot of people watching my videos. So thank you. And if you aren't subscribed already, please do subscribe because... It would really make my Christmas um, if I could reach like a hundred. I know it's quite a big, big aim, big ask, like 40 subscribers in a week or so. But I think I could do it. Um, so yeah, please share my channel if you think people will like what I'm doing. And yeah, if you want to see more from me, then hit subscribe. And I'm going to stop talking and eat my lunch. Ready to leave and I'm wearing my H&M black coat as usual. My pink off the shoulder top, which I was wearing before my ASOS jeans, my new shoe embassy boots, which I love. I haven't got a suede protector on them, but um, I couldn't find any. And it's not raining, so we should be okay. And my Topshop leather bag, which I rediscovered today. Um, some tea. My friend had a brownie. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the vlog. <laughs> got a Nutella brownie to share. And a nice cup of tea. We've got all the Christmas decorations up. Yeah, it's meant to be warm, I think. That's where it's going down now. So, That's really good. So now that I'm back home, I'm decided to go for a run because I'm in the mood and I thought I should make the most of that. Um, I'm wearing my trainers that I was going to throw away, but they should be okay. I'm wearing black socks, which obviously is the star at the moment. Um, so yeah, it's quite dark outside actually, which isn't ideal. But um, as I said before, I prefer running in the dark because I feel like less people are looking. But I'm going to go now and try and run for about half an hour, see how quick I can do 5k in, because that's my aim. I always use the um, Nike training app because I find that's quite accurate and easy to use. So I'm going to put my music on and go, and I haven't taken my makeup off because I really can't be asked, and it would just delay the whole process, so I haven't even got that much on my face, um, which is powder really. So I don't think it's too bad, it's not going to kill me. Um, so yes, I am. Um, I had some tea as well, so I've got a bit of caffeine in me. <laughs> I've just got in for my run. Um, I ran for 45 minutes, which I think is the longest I've actually run for. It must be something to do with the tea and the brownie giving me all that energy. All my trainers might have been the reason because they felt quite comfortable to wear. Um, hopefully my new ones will be just as good. But yeah, feeling quite hot. Um, it was quite dark outside as well, so I had to use my torch. Um, for a light around the muddy bits um, because I was sliding everywhere but my shoes had quite a good grip so it's okay. Um, 
now I'm going to have a shower before dinner. We're having fajitas, I think, tonight. Um, and then I need to take my nail polish off because I need to touch up my nails for tomorrow. Since I'm going to be spraying fragrance to people, I need to have um, nicely manicured nails because that will make people buy the fragrance, right? So I'm going to use the Leighton Denny <coughs> Be My Berry, um, which is like a metallic red. And yeah, I felt like a change. I don't really like... I like the white on my nails, but I don't really like the glitter bit on top. I think it looks a bit, um, makes it look a bit cheap. So I'm going to change that. Um, and then I'm not going to wash my hair, I don't think, yet, because it's not very greasy yet. Um, I think dry shampoo will fix that. Um, and then my new vlogmas is going up at half eight tonight, so that's all scheduled. Um, I did want to write a blog post, but I haven't actually got any photos <laughs> to write one. I'm going to have a think about what I want to post next um, and I'm going to read because I didn't actually read at lunch earlier um, yeah so do my nails, have a shower and next time you see me I'm most likely going to be in my dressing gown because that seems to be the pattern um, there's no point getting back into normal clothes now because it is 20 past 5 so yeah I just saw on um, the Instagram update that apparently they're doing live stories soon, which is quite interesting. So it's a bit like, I guess, Facebook Live, where um, you have videos like streaming um, and they disappear. So I'm not quite sure how that will work, but it might be quite good for like blogger, blogger competitions and things like that. Um, so yeah, and if you don't follow me on Instagram, um, my username is ella.rider. Um, I post pretty much daily maybe twice a day sometimes. Um, so yeah, come follow me on there and say hi if you would wish to. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have a shower now and I'm gonna use my new um, spa products again that I got yesterday. So look at my nice tidy wardrobe. I'm gonna use the shower gel, I think it is. Yeah, the shower gel. And I used the oil yesterday, so today I'm gonna use body cream. I want to quickly mention the tan I use. I'm just vlogging, Will. <laughs> you can be in it if you want. No. Okay. It's my brother. <laughs> um, I just use the Palmer's Natural Bronze Gradual Tanning Moisturiser. You can still talk, Will. Um, is he gone? <laughs> Scared him off. Um, in the, after the shower. And it's really good because it sinks in really quickly and I hate feeling all sticky and greasy with moisturiser, so... It does smell like the um, traditional moisturiser, the lotion, so it smells a bit chocolatey. With a tiny hint of fake tan, but not too much. Um, I think it's quite a good level of tan. Um, yes, I've applied it maybe twice a week, and so far so good. It doesn't streak very much, um, but I would recommend exfoliating every day when you use this, just to keep everything looking even. Um, prepare my nails for my nail painting later and do a coat of this Chiate um, nail gym I think it's called nail gym which um, my friend Zoe got me for my birthday and it's been pretty good at making my nails grow longer so I need to file them a lot more than I used to um, then I'm going to use a couple coats of my Leighton Denny and my Sally Hansen gel top coat which is my favourite and watch a couple of vlogmas videos um, so yeah I will show you what I have for dinner as well because I'm going to make um, my own fajita so that should be tasty I'm feeling really hungry now after my run so looking forward to it got chicken, peppers and onions coleslaw, salad and then I'm going to add some salsa and sour cream where's the salsa though? oh um. <laughs> spoon there there's no guacamole today but usually I have that too Sour cream. And then attempt to fold it. So I've just painted my nails with this Leighton Denny colour. I really, really like it. What do you guys think? It's really glossy and kind of shimmery, but not sparkly, which is what I wanted. So, yeah, feeling very festive. It will probably last approximately two days on my nails. I was taking up a lot of time just to watch these videos. <laughs> um, I think if I was like working like full time it'd be like impossible to keep up so just as well that I'm not. Um, 
so yeah again let me know who you're watching because i feel like not like if any more in but um it's interesting to know who everyone's favorite is um so yeah just thought i would show you my nails and now i'm gonna get on watching these videos boo so that was a boo moment because you weren't expecting that were you so i've got a um i think it's a manuka doctor peel off face mask and my glasses because my eyes are tired and I need to start editing today's video and I'm watching vlogmas videos so I'm taking my makeup off with a face scrub and because I felt bad for leaving my makeup on when I was running um, and put on the Manuka honey mask and it dries quite tight um, but it peels off really easily it's a purifying mask which um, is nice and kind of like deep cleansing so I'm going to peel that off soon, I've only just applied it so it's not dry yet but I thought I would show, try and show you how easy it is to take off because um, some peel masks I've tried it is really hard to get off I need to stop touching my face um, so yeah I thought I would just show you how easy it is I'm sat over here because I'm waiting for the kettle to boil because I'm going to make a cup of decaf tea It's been longer than 10 minutes but it's quite dry now so I'm going to try and take it off and show you what it looks like Usually it comes off in one piece, or near enough one piece in sections. Sometimes I even do it while I'm like lying in bed, um, watching stuff. It's really satisfying to do. And I haven't got my contact lenses in, so it's can't really see what I'm doing. <laughs> I can feel it. If any of you have contact lenses, let me know, because. It's a struggle. So it'd be much easier to remove if I hadn't left on for so long. I think it's probably been about half an hour instead of 10 minutes. So now I'm going to use a flannel to wash it off. And then I thought I got some other thing. Um, and then I'll apply my moisturiser and I'll be ready for bed. And then I'll also put this in the bathroom, which is a Philosophy Christmas cookie shower gel. Um, it smells really good. So that's kind of like our just by smelling it, <laughs> our family shower gel for Christmas. Um, so I'll be using that tomorrow. And now I just need to finish watching the Vlogmas videos from today and I'm just going to start editing this vlog now because since I'm working tomorrow and I want to go for a run in the morning, I don't want to get up at like 4am. So um, yeah, I'm going to say goodnight and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas day 14 I think. Um, I lose track, but anyway, Vlogmas Day 12 has just gone up, um, but yeah, I will see you tomorrow anyway, and please subscribe if you want to see more videos, and yeah, I'm probably going to do, I'm going to try and do one whole vlog tomorrow, but if not, it will be um, Thursday and Friday combined, like a kind of come to work at designer stores with me or something, um, so yeah, I will see you soon for another vlog, bye!